Hi everyone, this is Gil at CloseCallSports.com and we're going to talk about Mickey Calloway. But not in the way that you think. We are a sports officiating website and that is the perspective that we offer. Watch this video first. Angels pitching coach Mickey Calloway has been accused of sexual misconduct by five women in sports media. That's according now, I don't want you to necessarily pay attention to what he's saying, local story, but watch the visuals and see if you notice anything about this. Pitching coach in Cleveland for five seasons. This is B-roll footage of Trip Gibson's 2019 ejection of Calloway for arguing an opposing pitcher should have been thrown out of game for throwing inside. But the point is, doesn't really matter what the ejection was, when a story about abusive conduct off the field about a coach happens, they tend to use B-roll of abusive conduct that occurs on the field. And what is the best example? That neck bulge during an argument with an umpire. Somehow we've gotten it in our minds that because of sports, it's okay for managers to be abusive on the field. Not an indictment of the profession. Some people don't know where to toe the line. It's okay to argue. It's okay to disagree. It's okay to sometimes yell. It is not okay to be abusive nearly every single time you get thrown out of a game because you don't like something. What has happened here in the Mickey Calloway story is that we are looking at something that occurred off the field. And what really struck me is that they were interviewing the reporters for the athletic story and the alleged victims were saying that they felt pressured, that they had to do something for their career. He could affect their advancement, that sort of type, a mindset. And, and it took me right back to, and some of you perhaps too, as officials on the field, as an umpire referee, where a coach would gaslight you and say, you have to do it this way. You have to, you know, I'm going to complain about your sign. You're never going to work for me again. And you felt that your career was in jeopardy. It's the same thing, just in a different setting. So somehow we've gotten into the mindset that because of sports, it's okay for this abusive conduct to occur on the field because somehow the fence line separating the warning track and the spectator area is a magic boundary where the abuse that occurs on the field will not translate to what happens off the field. Wally Backman in 2019 was ejected one night for arguing TrackMan automated ball strikes. Not a surprise, but the very next morning he was arrested for allegedly committing some sort of domestic violence act. It doesn't stop when you get off the field. So again, not an indictment of the profession, but some people, and this is probably the tip of the iceberg, that's my gut on this, this is a systemic problem, and we don't deal with it. There are no substantial or meaningful punishments of any duration that really is satisfactory when a manager goes berserk at an umpire for an ejection just because the umpire said no to something. They're enforcing the rules, they're essentially saying no, and the manager goes crazy because of that. Somehow it's okay to violate the no means no clause of life when it's sports and it's on the field. It's okay. No means no. You can go crazy. You can throw tantrums. That's okay because it's sports. But off the field, no means no is a hard boundary. That's not consistent. And as we find in this type of a story, it's meaningless if you don't enforce the rule 100% of the time, whether it's on the field or off the field. So when you say, yeah, sports, you can go there and you can do whatever you want, that translates off the field. So in sum, tip of the iceberg, because we don't care about being consistent with this. And I'm just honestly waiting. They say, how does this happen? We had no idea. What a shocker. I can't believe this manager did that or did you have B-roll footage of them doing similar things. How can you not know or have an inclination? And I'm just waiting, speaking of that B-roll footage, for a story about referee or an umpire coming out with a PTSD diagnosis or something. And they'll say, how did that happen? Well, you're going to use the exact same B-roll footage and it's going to say, yeah, they were abused constantly and the league did nothing. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe here. We'll see you on the site.